Hello Poké Trainers, my name is Half and welcome to your mini Pokémon. So in today's episode we're going to be doing more talking than actually opening. What you have here, or what I have here in front of me, is basically a fake Pokémon card booster pack. And what I want to do in this video is basically guide you through how you can spot details in this fake booster pack so that you don't buy by accident or by mistake fake booster packs from people that are trying to scam you. Uh, it's a very, very hard problem on the internet, especially now that all the sales or the majority of the sales are happening online, to actually spot fake cards. And uh, right now I will be focusing solely on booster packs and booster boxes. Uh, when talking about actual collectible cards, that's a completely different monster. But what it is very, very uh, worrisome is that throughout the time they are basically getting better and better. As technology gets better, obviously printers get better, and uh, pictures get better, scanning get better, so it's easier to just fake cards. So I want you to pay attention to the close little details so that you can understand when a box is fake against a box that is actually not fake. So we will be looking at different little details as I said and hopefully this will be useful to all of you so that you can make more wise decisions when buying online and uh, yeah so what I have here is an ancient origins XY booster box and uh, it looks very real as you can see the image of the box is pretty pretty good you even have the right text here ready for some new tricks Hoopa X brings new mythical power to life to the Pokemon world along with fierce new challengers like Mega Tyranitar but then you will start finding issues right as you can see there's a mistake here in the spelling of Tyranitar uh, so yeah when you read the text so point number one is read all the text you will find probably misspells or uh, grammatical problems the second thing that I want to highlight which is probably the easiest one here is a real <laughs> Sun and Moon Lost Thunder booster pack and as you can see in this booster pack the plastic that covers the booster pack is very well uh, fitted into the box this one is a little loose uh, of, of course it's getting better but the best thing to spot it is this plastic has the Pokeballs while this one uh, doesn't have any type of Pokeball at all so that's one of course size is another, usually these are smaller or size is bigger, um, you need to check that in person unfortunately, but uh, yeah, the plastic is one of the highlights, uh, as I said you can spot that in a picture. Uh, the other thing to note is the grammatic and the orthographic misspells that you will find in the back. Um, what else? In this specific box. Uh, when you look down here, usually inside a real box it will tell all this information just like this one where it says uh, the Pokemon Company, uh, Game Freak, and the characters, blah, blah blah, and all this legal disclaimer right here. It will say the Pokemon Company International usually doesn't have this black here. It's just said the Pokemon Company International, and then uh, the street and uh, the address is wrong. So check the address, you can actually verify by that. And uh, the last thing is, in here, if you read closely, I don't know if the camera can, can pick this up, but uh, yeah, if you can read this closely, it actually says, Pokemon TCG XY Evolutions Booster Display Contain 36X Product Code Blah Blah Blah. And uh, then it says Pokemon TCG XY Steam Siege. So, those little details, right? We were supposed to be opening an Ancient Origins. In the bottom is basically telling us all these and evolutions, and then it's also Steam Siege in the same pack. So that doesn't make a lot of sense. So definitely fake. Um, so that's things to keep in mind. If we compare it with the Lost Thunder. And I don't know if the camera will pick it, but here it will say it's clearly Lost Thunder and then Lost Thunder. So this is real. Um, and then 
yeah, sorry for the rambling, but there's a lot of things to show and I want to keep this video as short as possible, but I think it's useful information for everyone out there. If you compare them to the side, you can see that the booster packs are lined up this way, while in the fake they're lined this way. So usually fakes are going to be lined in whatever direction it comes. The, the real ones will come in, in a specific direction, always facing forward, because that's when you open them on at the store. When you open them this way at the store, they will face the customer. And uh, it invites to actually buy them. Well, this one, if they didn't care, they were just facing this way. So that's, uh, that's on the outside of the box. So always read the text. Ask for pictures from every single angle of the box. But straight out of the bat, if the box doesn't have a plastic that has the Pokeballs, just say no. Okay? So I'll be opening this one. And I will not be opening all the packs in here. Because I don't care about opening packs that are fake. I'm really not happy with fake products. But I want just to give this information to everyone. So that you can identify also booster packs and cards that are completely fake. <coughs> so, here is the booster pack. This is terrible. So, uh, usually also the text will be wrong. The colors on the booster packs will look weird. They will not look real. Uh, just kind of off. The colors will look off. And uh, yeah, so inside here we can see that they did a pretty good job in actually putting the details there um, so apparently this is from London <laughs> but uh, in this one they did a better job but of course the colors don't look right and I'm very sorry that I don't have an actual uh, XY pack to compare but yeah this is kind of the booster pack um, look for the colors look for how they seal the packages that also gives you an idea I will be opening this uh, booster box as well then we will be opening the booster packs in other episodes because this one we do care what it's inside but I want just to show you to compare against another one what I'm meaning by the sealing so when they seal the packs they usually press them this way as you can see the teeth are very very fine uh, hopefully it's been captured by the camera, but the teats are very fine, very small. Well, in this one, it's just like a bunch of presses to seal it. And this is pretty good packs, actually. But uh, yeah, you can see that it's not um, in the right way. Now, Pokemon gets a very, very good attention to details. As you can see, the pressing doesn't get into the 10 additional game card text. Well, in here it does get on top of the 10 additional game card text. Um, in the back, as I said, they did a pretty good job because it's, it looks real. Um, even trying to feed the Pokemon in on top of the fire here, they did it the same way. So, they did a pretty good job in the back. So, another way to spot fake is the colors or how they seal them. Usually, they're more subtle on the real ones. And, uh, yeah, in terms of size... Uh, that's difficult to tell. Alright, so moving on, I'll open the cards. I don't expect to see beautiful cards in here. As I said, this is the only pack we're opening from that box. I don't care about opening the rest. I just want to give you the information that you need to actually uh, identify cards that are fake, booster packs that are fake, and boxes that are fake, so that you don't buy them. Uh, this fake Pokemon cards affect the whole industry and I encourage you Pokemon trainers not to support this kind of cards if you want to save some bucks just go to the internet a lot of people sell Pokemon cards that are very good uh, uh, that are not fake but are actually real and they sell them in bulk and uh, you will save money that way, so you don't need to go and buy this card. Now usually, when you're talking about fake cards, the back is uh, 
the colors on the back are terrible. In this case, the colors are not that bad, but they kind of shine a little bit. And to the feeling, I cannot show the feeling in the video, but they feel like they are too wobbly, right? They feel like it's not the right paper. Uh, it just feels different. It feels just like cheap carton. Um, yeah, so there, there's certain glow to them. So let me bring one real Pokemon card that I have here. This is our friend Electabuzz. So as you can tell, well maybe in the camera side by side you will see the different colors. These look more kind of sharp. Um, so these are very, very deep blue while well, this is a little more subtle. Uh, but I, I think the thing that highlights the most is that shining that we don't get in this card. And I don't know if it will pick it up in the camera, I apologize for that. If it picks it, great. If it, not, if it doesn't, I'm sorry. But it has this kind of glow that we don't find in regular Pokemon cards. Besides the color, maybe it's hard for you to tell the difference in color when you don't have another Pokemon card. But the glow, the feel, it just doesn't feel right. Um, there are other ways to identify. In this case, I don't think it's too bad. Um, usually it's kind of the the HP uh, in the HP some of the cards are just like massive it has like a thousand HP or whatever um, but yeah I mean it's definitely easy to identify if you pay close attention now the other way to also tell is um, by looking to the side, and this is not going to be picked up on the camera, but if you look to the side of the cards, you can see a subtle line in the real ones that it's black where the ink goes. If we just break this one, you'll see it's just like cheap carton where they just basically pasted the picture there. This will not happen on a real Pokemon card, right? Um, so if you're in doubt if it's real or not, this is the last resort. I will not encourage people to break them, uh, but the real ones will have just a black line crossing or crossing kind of showing the ink of the card that actually went through the paper. And uh, that's a way to spot it. It's just a, a safety kind of thing. That It's just the way the carton on the real Pokemon cards work. I will not break or cut any of them. You will need to look for other YouTube videos. There's plenty of them that show people breaking them to show that line of ink. Uh, you will need to believe me that if we break them, you will see it. Uh, but I don't like breaking real Pokemon cards. Um, so yeah, in, in, t in general, it's just about looking at the pictures and seeing if the colors match. Usually it looks more blurry than the real ones. Uh, colors don't match, um, look for misspells, um, look for other little details. For example, here probably you will be able to see it. Uh, this is a little bit more clear than in here. Usually this is a very good spot to see if the card is fake or not. Um, so I'm hoping that you can see here the main differences. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything I have to say about this. Please be careful when buying online, ask as much information as you can, look for the small details, and as I said, it's a uh, fake cards are hitting the industry, of course they don't hit them as bad as it is, but in the end, it's cards that are not going to the actual producers of these cards. Uh, this actually has a better color, closer to the real ones, but... What I was saying is, in the end, you might save a couple of bucks, but you're not helping the whole industry. And it is not just about going this to Pokemon, it's just going to the small stores out there that are getting a hit. Because instead of you investing in the small local businesses, you're now investing on a counterfeit product where just someone is taking advantage of the situation and... Sell, selling you a cheap product product for cheap um, So next time if you want to save some boxes I said you can buy some cards in bulk online that it's very very cheap 
um, and think about it twice when buying uh, counterfeit product just for your local businesses and for the businesses around the world that are actually trying to sell you quality quality product coming from the actual manufacturer uh, so that this doesn't happen that often anymore because the only way to actually deal with fakes is not buying fakes so hopefully uh, I give you enough information today so that you can make a better uh, decision and to look out for uh, the fakes and how to spot them easier um, yeah that's everything I had to say today in terms of fake Pokemon cards if you really like this video please remember to uh, like uh, the video to subscribe to the channel and if if you would like to us to do more videos around how to spot Pokemon uh, cards, how to identify the fakes, or how to identify uh, the details on Pokemon cards that are collectible, I will be happy to do content in that direction as well. As I've said in my uh, channel description, this channel is for you Pokemon trainers out there, and I would love to hear your thoughts on how we can grow it, what kind of things you would like to see more in this channel, what do you like to uh, to learn more about or if you want to see more card openings what types of card openings you want to see but in general I think um, I want to keep this open and ask for your um, feedback so that we can improve this channel a lot again thank you very much uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, yeah let me know what kind of other things you would like us to uh, do here at Mini Pokemon. Until next time, gotta catch them all. Thank you.